Hey everybody, Mark Davis in the immediate aftermath of an exhausting Monday, June 10th, 2013 show. I'm tired in a good way, as the saying goes, fending off so many callers who are disagreeing with me for the first time, as if that is uh, somehow cathartic. But here's the thing, it's all from our friend, this Ed Snowden guy. Uh, this peach-fuzzed 29-year-old who sat out there at his outpost in Hawaii doing the work of an NSA contractor, which involved a uh, you know, proper amount of surveillance over a certain amount of communications. Well, I guess the key modifier there is proper. He didn't think it was proper. See, he decided he doesn't like the way we do surveillance. The way we do surveillance, and who didn't know this, was that we take a look at the entire haystack looking for the needle. The terrorists are the needle. The haystack is everybody. You and I are in the haystack. This is not like going and tapping on everybody's window, looking inside the window, seeing what's going on. Oh, and if there's nothing going on, you have nothing to worry about. It's not like listening in to every conversation for five or 10 minutes. Not, nothing going on here, and so they proceed. This is the most cursory, the most millimeter deep, shallow examination of patterns of calls and emails. And I think too much is made of the privacy thing. I'm Mr. Privacy, but your calls and your emails all take place in an ether that is to some degree regulated. So let's back off a little bit on suggesting this is somehow like the government sitting down in your living room and hearing you talk about something with your wife. It's not like that. The other interesting thing is the political bedfellows this creates. Uh, Bush-hating code pinkers are now in league with otherwise conservative mega-libertarians who didn't like this kind of surveillance when it happened with Bush. I give them at least consistency points. What a lot of people seem to be asking from me, and I just can't deliver it, is that a surveillance methodology that I admired under President Bush, I must now distance from it, I must now disparage it because it's Obama. Are you kidding me? I'm supposed to allow the next 9-11 just because this guy is president and I don't trust him? By the way, I don't trust him. The IRS, Benghazi, I could go on. I wanna watch these people like hawks because they do not deserve the level of trust that the Bush and Cheney people did, at least to me. So what I'm going to do is strike what I think is a balance here and say that this is something that we need to watch them, we need to be vigilant, and, and if victims, if actual people targeted by improper NSA surveillance, if they arise, if they could sit down at a congressional table and say, look, the NSA targeted me just for being a Tea Party guy. Or if somebody steps out of, if some future actual whistleblower steps forward and says, look, at, I, I, was, I was asked to, to do surveillance, to listen in, to, to eavesdrop on the conversations of conservative leaders, political enemies of the White House, then we'll actually have something that rises to the level of civil disobedience. Mr. Snowden's gripe about surveillance does not rise to that level. Just watching the incredible narcissism of the interview he did with The Guardian. Oh, we as the public, we have to stand vigilant. Listen, I'm all about standing vigilant. I know. But he seeks to settle this argument before the argument is even had. If, as an American people, we're not happy with the level of surveillance that we have, if we think it's too much, too intrusive, elect people who won't do it. Maybe that's what people thought when they were electing Obama. They thought, surely they'll stop all this Bush, uh, you know, war tactics. Well, I want to thank him for keeping Guantanamo open. Uh, I want to thank him for the Afghan surge and the 20 minutes that that lasted. I, I have a great distrust of and a great disapproval of this president, but I'm going to trust for the moment the people who are hunched over laptops and listening on earphones at the NSA, at the CIA, the good, largely apolitical people who are doing that and keeping us safe from terror. Just because, uh, you know, Jim Bob Snowden there at his outfit in, in Hawaii suddenly decided one day, I don't approve of this, I'm going to copy documents, take them to Hong Kong and give them to a reporter. He is a criminal and a narcissist and he needs to spend about 25 years in prison. But to many, he is a hero who should be given the Congressional Medal of Honor. It's going to be a very interesting week of talk shows. Why don't you join me for it? Be a part of it. Agree or disagree. I'm there for you. Uh, it is 7 to 10 uh, in the morning each, uh, each day Central Time. Mark Davis Show right here on 660 AM, The Answer.